Welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Applied Forensic Science for Justice Student Group. This is Arjuna Kumari, Applied Forensic Science for Justice Student Group volunteer, present here the role and qualification of forensic scientist. Content. So, the topic to be covered in this video are role of forensic scientist and the work of forensic scientists in the laboratory and the work of forensic scientists at the scene of crime and the qualification of the forensic scientists and the last is key skills of forensic scientists. So now we begin with the role of forensic scientists. So forensic scientists analyze samples such as hair, body fluid, glass, paint and drug in laboratories. They also apply techniques such as gas and high performance liquid chromatography, scanning electron microscopy, mass spectrometry, infrared spectroscopy and genetic fingerprinting. And also shift and short evidence often held in minuscule quantities. Minuscule quantity is uh, very minute quantities and also recover findings and collect trace evidence from scenes of crime or accidents. Attend and examine scenes of crimes. Liaise with teams and coordinate with outside agencies such as the police. And analyze and uh, interpret results and computer data. And review and supervise the work of assistants. Present the result of your work in written form or by giving oral evidence and to justify findings under cross-examination in the court of law, research and develop new forensic techniques. And also searching for and collecting evidence at the scenes of crimes and compiling written reports, gathering evidence, verifying the authenticity of the documents, testing fluid and tissue samples for the use of drugs and poisons and to analyze tool and tire marks, giving and defending evidence in court, recovering data from electronic equipment such as laptops, computer and mobile phones, using appropriate analytical techniques such as chromatography, electron microscopy and DNA profiling. Next is qualification of forensic scientist. So, to work as forensic scientist, you will usually need either a degree in scientist subjects such as biological sciences or chemistry or a degree in forensic science. Also, degree subjects such as statistics and geology can be useful for entry into a specialist area of forensic science. While there has been an increase in the number of forensic science undergraduate degree courses, they don't all provide the skills and knowledge required to work as forensic scientist. Competition for jobs is intense. So you may want to take an MSc or PhD in forensic science, a master in a forensic specialty such as archaeology or anthropology can be also useful. If you want to work as an assistant forensic scientist, you will need at least four good GCSE passes. GCSE is General Certificate of Secondary Education, including English and either Science, Biology or Chemistry or Maths, and at least one A-level or equivalent in the science subject. In practice, however, many assistant forensic scientists have at least a first degree. Now last is key skills of forensic scientist. So forensic scientist should have logical and independent mind and have meticulous attention to detail, excellent writing and oral communication skill and should have objectivity and sensitivity when dealing with confidential information and should have ability to work under pressure and to a deadline and have concentration and patience and should have ability to deal with stressful and emotional situation and should have confidence in your own judgments. 
Thank you for watching the video. For more such knowledgeable video, subscribe our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming knowledgeable video.